So the trailer for Gladiator 2 dropped two days ago over on YouTube. And needless to say, <laughs> Hollywood, take a note. Not every movie needs a sequel. The original movie Gladiator released in 2000, 24 years ago, ended perfectly by most accounts. There's no need for a sequel, especially a sequel 24 years later. This just shows the lack of creativity out in Hollywood right now. And to prove that like, lack of creativity, I found this article over on MovieWeb um, dated January 8th, 2024. So sequels are already the box office story of 2024 for better or worse. Well, for the most part, it's been for worse. Except for, say, Bad Boys 4, which has done pretty well in my estimation. Uh, Inside Out 2 has done really well at the box office. Better than I thought or expected. Um, but they link to this post over on X from Exhibitor Relations Co. ERC box office. It says, out of the 95 wide releases currently scheduled to drop domestically in 2024, 34 of them, that's 35%, are sequels, spinoffs, or reboots. So over a third of the movies released in the box office domestically are going to be sequels, spinoffs, or reboots. Now, they go on to say there'll, there will be more added, upwards of 25 more but these will likely come from festival pickups, smaller films, and indie distributors that haven't set their slate yet. And somebody commented and said, so in other words, there will be n several new original films almost every single week of 2024 in theaters or on streaming. <laughs> so here's the trailer. Now, I love Denzel Washington, okay? The man can act. The man can, in my opinion, take a movie that might be questionable as far as how it's going to perform at the box office. And the man can um, sometimes pull a rabbit out of a hat, in my opinion. I mean, I loved him in the Equalizer movies. Um, the book of Eli. I mean, you could go all the way back to like Man on Fire. Denzel is just cool. And so here we have the first scene, Gladiator 2. And we've got Denzel. <laughs> Which to me isn't a bad way to start off the trailer. I mean, you're showing Denzel. Um... But let's go through the trailer a little bit here and see what we got. <laughs> I love it when they do a trailer before a trailer. I love it when they do a cut a scene that says, oh, the trailer starts now. I remember that day. I never forgot it. So, right off the bat, we get that this is a direct sequel from the movie released in 2000. Which it's apropos that it's 24 years later. But a slave could take revenge against an emperor. Where were you born? I don't know. I never knew a mother nor a father. You will be my instrument. So here we have Denzel, and as the first comment that I have here on YouTube is, so Denzel's basically portraying Denzel in an eight, as an ancient Roman. <laughs> Laughing emojis. Yep, that's what he's doing. Who are you? Did you hear that crowd? The greatest temple. 
And I guess Pedro Pascal plays the Roman Emperor at the time. I'm, I'm guessing. Rome ever built. The Colosseum. Now, that actually did happen in the Colosseum. That actually did happen. That is historically accurate from what I've, from what I've gathered. Because this is what they believe in. Power. <laughs> General Acacius, there are victories yet still to come. Rome has so many subjects, she must feed them. They can eat war. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Pedro Pascal does not play a Roman emperor. Wouldn't be the first time I'm wrong. Won't be the last. The arena turns slaves into gladiators. The gladiators into free men. You have something. You. I knew it from the start. Did you now? Rage. And rage is your gift. So what I'm gathering here is that the main protagonist, I guess, is um, the son of Maximus, I'm guessing, or he's related to Maximus in some way. And this just continues the story, which, again, I don't think the Gladiator really needed a sequel. This is about survival! Survive! Hold together and when it charges, break for the wall. Whose head could I give you that would satisfy this fury? The entire Roman armies. Too much. The general will do. Human beings in the Oh, and here we have the Jay-Z soundtrack. Great. Music we don't need in a Gladiator movie. Rome must fall. And he'd only give it a push. <laughs> we make it out alive. All right, all right. Of course, I don't know if that's exactly Jay-Z. It's probably not, but that's the first name that popped in my head when the music started. Chairs on the mausoleum floor. Blood stains the Colosseum door. This ring belonged to Maximus. Now I give it to you. What is the dream of Rome? If her people are not free. All right, so that's enough of the trailer. I want to get into the comments here. Um, we only have one black guy in the movie, boss. Blast a rap song over the trailer. <laughs> Of all the movies that never needed a sequel, Gladiator never needed it the most. The fact the movie with the perfect ending got a sequel is outrageous. The producers, we've got Denzel. Let's throw a rap song in there to emphasize the Roman Empire. <laughs> There's someone at Paramount who knew the music was a terrible choice, sitting back in their chair and laughing right now. Uh, I remember the, my grandmother saying to me, I don't care what they tell you in school. The Coliseum was designed for acoustics and for rap concerts. <laughs> Hans Zimmer's score was one of the best parts of the original Gladiator. His music evoked raw emotions in the movie theater. I saw people in tears and men humming, now we are free, as I was walking out. I too couldn't get it out of my head for months after watching Gladiator. A movie that never, ever needed a sequel. So over on Cosmic Book News, Matt McGloin, he put this out there. Gladiator 2 trailer facing massive fan backlash. Over 50K YouTube dislikes. Well, that dislikes is now over 207,000 to 117,000 likes. This trailer has gotten ratioed to death. Now, I don't know what the budget is on this movie. My guess is going to be probably somewhere in the $300 million range. Maybe. I mean, I'll revisit that when the full financials come out as far as what the budget is. But suffice it to say, this movie will probably have to do somewhere around a billion dollars to break even. It would be my guess.
So fans disliked the Gladiator 2 trailer on YouTube. The trailers received a whopping 4 million views. I just went over the likes and dislikes. What do they say? Add this to Pedro's dies in a movie slash show list. <laughs> this Jay Z song mentions the Coliseum. Says the comment with a thousand likes. Yeah, stick that in there. Another with a thousand likes says, Great choice of music. All it's missing is Dom Toretto drifting around the Coliseum in a modified chariot. A uh, comment with 7.2 thousand likes says, so Denzel's basically portraying Denzel's. And I got that one already. Uh, the producers, we got Denzel. Let's throw a rap song. I've read that one already. So there you have it, guys. Gladiator 2. Um, not off to a good start. If I'm the folks at Paramount, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, wow, what do we do? What, what, what do we do? What do we do to promote this movie that people are actually going to want to go see it? So leave your comment down below. Tell me what you think about the trailer and about what your prospects are for Gladiator 2 come November. Uh, while you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. Share this video out there with your friends and family, and I will see you guys later.